Throughout the story of Control, the world itself is as much of a mystery as the characters and events of the game. When the players have a question, the game rarely gives a direct answer, or when it does, it leads to more questions. Rather than giving world-building exposition through direct means, Control trusts the player to examine, to investigate, and uncover the details of the world on their own. In doing so, theories about the game are rampant and the community attempts to riddle out even the most minute detail. One question that began during Jesse's interview at the start of the story is, who is the board, and what's the deal with the Black Pyramid anyway? Likely, more details on this question may be revealed in the Foundation and AWE expansion planned for release next year. However, based upon the information currently available to us, let us see what we can find out. Before getting into the theories regarding the board, let us look at some history and symbolism of the pyramid in general. Anyone who has sat through a history class knows pyramids are generally grand structures erected thousands of years ago. Although the Egyptian pyramids are the most well known, these structures have been found in every region of the planet, in Mexico, Indonesia, the Sudan, and dozens of other places. The most common belief is that they were grand burial chambers for the rulers of the region. Others state they were used for religious reasons. New theories refer back to papers by Nikola Tesla, in which he discusses the pyramid's natural ability to create negative ions. According to some scholars, the tip of the pyramid was originally made of gold, which is an excellent conductor of electricity. Setting aside the history and scientific thoughts on the matter, let us look at some symbolic representations. Using alchemical symbolism, the upright pyramid represents the element of fire. The Greek philosopher Plato assigned it the properties of heat, dryness, the sun, and masculine energy, while being represented by the color red, or orange. The inverted pyramid represents the element of water, and is assigned the properties of cold, wet, the moon, and feminine energy, while being represented by the color blue. Within the medical wing of the containment sector, a whiteboard can be found that details a dream one agent had. In the dream, he witnesses an upright red pyramid appearing below the black one. The red one rises up, and eventually the two meet to form an hourglass. The dreamer at that point was overcome with a sense of dread as they began flashing. Eventually, the red pyramid rose above the black one before the black pyramid vanished completely. The entire time he felt this was a warning, and we had to prevent it. The alchemical symbol of two triangles meeting is arsenic. This is medically known as a poison, but the symbolism simply represents transformation. In the climax of control, when Dylan is inside the astral plane attempting to corrupt the Black Pyramid, below is a step pyramid that was assembled and rose upright to position Dylan between the points of both. The dream appears to have been a premonition of this event where the Hiss corrupt the board and take control. In this event, Dylan acts on behalf of the lower, upright pyramid, while Jesse acts on behalf of the inverted one, fire and water, masculine and feminine. Moving past the alchemical representation, there is more pyramid symbolism to observe. The Black Pyramid within Control is a square pyramid, much like many in Egypt. It contains four faces and one base. The number four can represent the elements, compass directions, and the four children of Horus as seen on the Canopic Jars. Combined, they represent completeness. The bottom face, the one that rests on the earth, symbolizes the solid state of matter. It is the manifest world we experience. From the earth, the pyramid rises up, the tip piercing into the heavens. As mentioned earlier, the pyramids were believed by some to be used for religious reasons. Various cultures believe that the pyramid was a method of filtering cosmic energy. The tip, being an antenna of sorts, a receiver that collects energy and information from above. The individual inside rested upon the bottom face of the pyramid, firmly planted on the earth. As such, the pyramid itself was believed to be a filter that translated energy from the heavens down to the individual resting on the bottom face. So if the upright pyramid acts to filter energy from above, then the inverted pyramid would act as a filter for energy from below. Within this setting, that would be unconscious energies. 
control heavily draws upon the philosophy of the Jungian unconscious. As described in a previous Alan Wake video, the unconscious is a realm of archetypes, symbols, and emotions. A good deal of Control's narrative deals with the collective unconscious of the population attaching these lower energies to everyday objects. These are how altered items are created. In one of Dr. Darling's presentations, he mentions that the understanding of how these energies are attached to these items is unknown. If we are unable to understand how these things work, how does this energy get translated to us? It would be translated through the board. The Black Pyramid exists within the Astral Plane, a reality where, in some theologies, it is believed that all consciousness resides. It is stated that the board does not rule the Astral Plane, only the Pyramid itself. If the board resides within, or is the Pyramid, their purpose is apparent. As with the Upright Pyramid, the Black Pyramid filters unconscious energies and translates them into the top face where we can experience them. One of the board's duties is to bind objects of power to the peri-utilitarian. In the end, the Black Pyramid receives Jungian unconscious energy from the bottom tip. The board filters that energy and attaches it to the individual existing on the top face, the manifest reality. Now, a few theories have been circulating regarding the identity of the board members. Some believe they are all previous directors of the FBC, hence the board of directors. Some hypothesize that Adi is a member of the board. Based upon the information at hand, I do not believe a definitive answer can be reached at this time, so I will not speculate. It is my belief, however, that the expansion set to be released in 2020 will provide us with more clues. Once they are released, a supplemental video will be made to dissect the new information. See you then.